Hi everyone, welcome to module two of this class. We have done a lot of heavy lifting in the first few weeks of this class, so I thank you so much for sticking with it. We really got started with a lot of heavy foundational theories, understanding of what is mass communication, uh, what is communication, uh, how do we communicate, and how does mass media communicate to us? What are the uses and effects of mass media on us and on society? And so now that we have these fundamentals, we can start diving into legacy media and to a lot of these media industries that we'll be talking about this semester. The first two are the two most important uh, because they are the earliest uh, of the two, uh, the two earliest legacy media that we will be talking about, books and newspapers. I'm a big book nerd. I also am the journalism teacher at Santa Ana College, so maybe I'm a little bit biased, but I really do think that these are really important legacy media chapters. Um, that you will be going through in your textbook. So this is chapter four and chapter five in our textbook. Um, and what I started us off with actually is a discussion board that's um, about writing, but you don't necessarily have to read the chapter on books in order to be able to participate in this. So this is a book that I've been reading. Uh, I read this summer, my book of the summer, I guess, came out a few years ago though. It's called Because Internet, about understanding the new rules of language. And it's by a linguist who uh, has researched the history of writing and the way that writing has changed on the internet, informal writing specifically. So I'm asking you to read a review of this uh, of this book, so you don't have to read the whole book, but in this review that I'm asking you to read, you'll get some excerpts from it and some understanding of what the concepts are. And then you'll be able to talk about writing in your own life. How do you use emojis? How do you abbreviate things when you're texting? And how has writing evolved for you, uh, maybe away from the formal writing that we've learned in school. Um, and so this will set us off on a, on a great discussion to launch us into um, books and the history of writing and the birth of the first mass media, which is books that, um, that the history of writing and then coupled with the invention of the printing press really pushed books and then all the information that they contained out to the world. Um, and like so many of you noted in your critical thinking quizzes, um, almost at the same level of the internet. The internet might have made things go faster, but books made them go a lot faster than a, than a human brain on foot. Um, books could travel with people uh, and ideas could travel with them. Ideas could outlast people and could be there when people aren't there. So there's a lot to be said about um, books and the book industry, even as it exists today. Um, and so you have a knowledge check quiz and a critical thinking quiz about chapter four. Uh, and then we go into chapter five next week, which is all about the news business um, and the history of the news business and the history of the news industry. Uh, and again, my background is in journalism. I was a journalist uh, for a very long time and I recognize a lot of, um, of the criticisms of media that are outlined in this reading uh, are outlined in our textbook and a lot of criticisms that students have are very warranted. And so I want us to explore in this module, you know, how did the news industry get that way? What is the function of journalism? Who has journalism served over the years? Uh, and who could it serve, right? And um, what is the function in a democratic society of having a robust uh, news industry or a news press? But what about the idea that it is a business, right? And if you are trying to serve an audience with information, how do you do that as a business? So if you'll notice the second week of this module, no discussion board, only a knowledge check quiz, because you have a reflection paper that you will need to complete uh, before you take the test. So you have two additional readings for this um, for this reflection paper. You will have to read um, this excerpt from uh, Media 2070. It's a short essays, a couple of short little essays that I've stacked together here for you. This is 14 pages out of about 100. So really like the, the choice picks um, for the topic of discussion that we're having. Um, and then you have an article here by a local journalist named Gustavo Ariano, who is a columnist at the LA Times. Um, and he writes here about the LA Times' reckoning with racism. This was part of a very big series that they um, published last year. And um, as you can see, the whole industry is really reckoning with this, with media harms and the way that, that news media has portrayed different communities over the years. And who has journalism served? And who has the news industry served? Uh, and 
and in, uh, over time and over history. So these are some of the things that I want you to be uh, exploring the, in this module, thinking about the power of the printed word um, and then the power of news to create narratives and to shape really how we understand history. Because uh, as we talk about in this chapter, that journalism is the first rough draft of history. So what is that saying? And what are some of the ways that media organizations today are beginning to reflect on their past and maybe their past harms and the ways in which they maybe have not um, Ha they have not written the proper first draft of history. And what are the things that that uh, media organizations are doing to uh, reflect on that in this time? So you have some uh, a pre-writing checklist here that will help you get through this reflection paper. I'm only asking for about 500 words couple pages maybe, um, but please consider deeply these questions and find examples from the readings that you can use to cite. Um, so this is your big assignment for the second week uh, of this module, and it will replace, as you can see, our critical thinking quiz. So no discussion board the second week, but you do have this reflection paper and your module two test all about books and newspapers. This one's only worth 30 points um, this week, and next, uh, next week, we will get our next module we will get into audio we will spend two weeks on music so that should be fun but right now we're going to talk about words the printed word and the news media industry okay have a great few weeks